All right, so we want to take you down memory lane tonight on Lest We Forget. So let's take you back 14 years to 2003. There is euphoria in the air. Mwai Kibaki has trounced Uhuru Kenyatta in the election under the Unified National Rainbow Coalition. Now, there are homecoming celebrations around the country until one incident dampened the mood in the country. A plane carrying members of the new cabinet and politicians crashed at the Busia airstrip, killing the newly appointed Labour Minister Ahmed Mohamed Khalif and two pilots. Three other ministers, Rafael Tuju, Martha Karua and Lina Jabi Kilimo, were seriously injured. Dr. Wanjiro Kihoro remained in a coma and died three years later. This, at the time, was billed as one of the worst air disasters in the country. And they were all heading, of course, to Moriawari's home for a victory celebration. Now, take a look at his recollection of the events this time. You know, it was bending. And it moved, and within a matter of seconds, we heard a bing bang. We could see, and it went down. I can't forget that. We had to follow. <coughs> Excuse me. Emotional, even 14 years later, he is not the only one. The country uh, was also in mourning as a whole. People wanted answers. The government revoked the license of the airline whose plane crashed. They went to court arguing that this was an unprecedented action that had never been taken on any other company following a crash. After an 11-year court battle, they were awarded damages of up to 1 billion shillings in a judgment termed by the company's lawyer as important for the aviation industry. But more importantly, the biggest lesson out of this incident was that politicians or high-profile individuals should never share a plane or indeed a vehicle. Yet sadly, this incident was replicated nine years later when George Saitoti, then Internal Security Minister, and his assistant minister, Ora Ojodi, were killed in a chopper crash while heading for a fundraiser. We surely must learn from history and start to make decisions for the future. It is, of course, important not to forget these lessons. That's your trip down memory lane. Not a very you know, pleasant one to go through. But that is why we do Lest We Forget, to start to learn from these lessons. And this episode, or indeed edition of Lest We Forget, is just a sneak peek, because I'm sure you've seen that promo coming soon. Uh, speaking to former um, Minister Mudia Wari, well, that is definitely coming soon. And I can tell you here that Duncan Hayemba is working on a story based on those events that we have highlighted today on Lest We Forget. It's something you don't want to miss and it'll be exclusive to KTN News because right here we like to take a look at what's happened in the past, remind you of that, and of course also of the lessons therein. So that is coming soon. You want to look out for that one right here on KTN News. We take a break. The Sports News is up next.